actually pivot when it comes to my passion. Sometimes, for instance, I started off um, in photography. Sometimes it's just a change of air. I was doing branding portion. Then, you know, I was like, oh, you know, I like this, but I'm not going to promote it. I'm going to try a different thing within photography. I switched it up a little bit and I started doing something else. Then I switched up a little bit more and I'm doing maternity and I'm excelling in that. Oh, this is 10. We here. We here. It's 10, baby. Let's go. I dropped 51. In the last one-on-one. -on -one. Bars. Not really. Not at all. I failed at that. I don't know where that was going. It was going somewhere. It just, it just didn't land at all. But it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> no, I'm keeping this in the video. No, 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 just like, just like, just like. Um, uh, so this is uh week ten, guys. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like, share, um, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon as well, guys. Um, so what I want to talk about this week, guys, is passion. Um, there's this thing that goes around, and a lot of people state it, is that. Hey, you should, you know, do your passion and that passion itself should spin into a job. And I used to be one of those individuals that actually believed this. I believe that, hey, if I do my passion, my passion, I will, I would never work again. That, that's the saying. Um, if you do your passion, you would never work again in life. That is a lie. It's a lot. I'm so I'm uh, I'm just telling you it's a lot. And the reason it's a lot because um when you are really doing your passion, it's going to cost you something, okay? And what I mean by that, so me doing my passion, I love film. Um I'm a film head, I love watching film. Um also I love photography. Um both of those passions are it, it's hard work at times. And oftentimes it's not fun. Sometimes, you know, for a film, it could be staying up a good 12 hours straight. It comes to a photography portion. Hey, I'm on my feet all day sometimes for a wedding or for or a corporate thing that may be paying very well, but I'm just shooting people talking the entire time. That gets bland, bland and stale at times. But my passion is to set thing of film my passion is to set thing of photography but there's moments within there that is not always going to be fun and i want you to think about that because if you get to a place where you believe that you operating and working in your passion should be this thing that you you are always enjoying you're gonna get to a place where you burn out you're not one and and for instance um there's some people that I, I used to know this phenomenal um, individual that loved to do hair could do hair like she was doing hair when we were back in like high school and all of that then it got to the standpoint like, and, and, and literally just braiding all the time like a lot of the guys especially back in like the bow wow days and all that stuff you know all of us try to have hair grow it out and during that time you know braiders are making money over hand over fist because not only girls are getting braids and micro braids and everything and the african twist and everything but you had the guys doing the exact same thing so she was making money hand over fist doing what she loved which was braids and making those unique designs but it got to a place where she was actually busy a lot and now she doesn't even work in hair anymore because she said it just it isn't fun anymore and that's the thing I want to talk about. Your passion at times, it's not always going to be fun. But you have to have enough resolve within yourself that you keep pushing. Knowing that, hey, this is something that I chose to do. And me choosing to do this said thing, there's going to be an end result. That at the end of the day, that I at least got to do what i love to do rather than be working for some other individual and not doing necessarily what i want to do 
So when it comes to building that said passion or having that said passion, you need to actually think about, hey, what is, um, am, am I working too much in this said thing? Do I need to actually pivot when it comes to my passion? Sometimes, for instance, I started off um, in photography. Sometimes it's just a change of air. I was doing branding portion. Then, you know, I was like, oh, you know, I like this, but I'm not going to promote it. I'm going to try a different thing within photography. I switched it up a little bit and I started doing something else. Then I switched up a little bit more and now I'm doing maternity and I'm excelling in that. So sometimes when it comes to your your um, passion, you got to think of it like a relationship. Hey, if every single night I'm going home and I'm getting green eggs and ham, I'm just saying that. Ari is not feeding me green, green ears and hair, okay? Um, that's not what's going to happen. But uh, I'm just using that as an example. If every night, you know, you're going home, you're getting green eggs and ham, and that is your favorite meal, but seven days a week, you're eating egg, green eggs and ham, on that eighth day, you're probably not going to want that said thing. So you switch it up a little bit when it comes to your passion. What do you need to change in your daily routine to actually, you know, help? create a new interest within that said passion and that's something that we often don't think about not getting to a place where hey this is just mundane this is boring i don't want to do this anymore it may just mean that you just may need to pivot just a little bit so think about that when it comes to your passion um think about the different options that you have on um, is there a new style of if you're doing cakes hey is there a new style of cake that i should try maybe trying that new style of cake would actually benefit new customers and actually benefit you get into another niche when it comes to hey working on cars if i'm always working on the same car what passion project can i create on the side hey now you know i was working on hondas but now you know i may want to try out fits and jaguar just throwing something out there but just changing it up a little bit that's going to help with that said passion because at the end of the day your passion at times is going to get stale but you have to have enough say so within yourself and enough motivation and resolve within yourself that you keep consistent and you drive within that fat that passion that's going to be important okay so that's gonna be our week 10 guys um think about that passion, if you're getting to a place where you want to stop, don't stop. Think about what you need to change um, to keep that passion going. Okay? So, like, share, comment. See you all next week. I appreciate you. Say lie.